Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video for the end of March. Wrapping up the first quarter of 2011 on a cloudy, cold, dreary day across the state. Let's check some of the Skycam shots this afternoon. There's a look at the Skycam coming in Jasper. Up in Walker County, it's cloudy and uh, temperatures where the clouds are hanging in, holding the 40s in most places. There's the Birmingham Sky Cam. Again, overcast there. If you want some sunshine, head south. How about Greenville, Alabama? You can see uh, First United Methodist Church off in the distance. The sky down there is sunny in the south, uh, southern part of the state today. Water vapor satellite shot, deep trough. The axe is still a little west of here. It's slowly progressive, moving on to the east. There's the visible satellite shot, and you can see it's cloudy over most of North Alabama, north of a line from near uh, Fayette to, say, Calera and Ashland and Roanoke. South of that line and west of that line, it's mostly sunny. But another impulse coming down the uh, backside of that trough will likely bring the clouds right back into most of the areas where the sky did clear temporarily. And yeah, look at that. Birmingham, 48 degrees at 2 o'clock. The GFS forecast temperatures have been laughable for the past two weeks. I think the GFS had a high of, uh, what, 59, and a couple of days ago it had like 68 today. But with the clouds, temperatures just going absolutely nowhere, 46 at 2 o'clock. At Haleyville, Coleman, and Gadsden, we should be in the low 70s this time of the year. Around the southeastern states, uh, note that next impulse producing rain over Arkansas, and that's moving in our direction, so clouds will again uh, be thickening tonight, and we might see a little light rain in spots uh, late tonight or uh, tomorrow morning. Won't be much. And again, down to the south, very active weather in central Florida this afternoon. There's the watch warning map. Look at those winter storm warnings up for New England. How about that for the last day of March? And down south, there's the tornado watch for much of central and south Florida until 8 o'clock Eastern time tonight. Boy, they've had a rough ride today. Tornadoes flying around Tampa Bay. Had a big uh, tornado at a, uh, an aviation event at the airport at Lakeland. Uh, the initial report, 70 people were trapped in a hangar that collapsed. So some really wild weather down there. And again, the threat continues for the rest of this afternoon and tonight. But, of course, our concern, it's next week. Uh, a lot of buzz on this thing already. This is the day four through eight convective outlook. Uh, day four is Sunday. Day five is Monday. And that really goes through Tuesday morning at 7. And then day six is Tuesday after 7. And the timing, you know, we just don't know yet. It's just way too early. But clearly, we could see a significant risk of severe weather next week. Who gets what, what type of severe weather, just hard to answer at this point. Uh, we'll tell you what we know here. This is the uh, 12Z GFS at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. The uh, trough axis well to the uh, east. Still got energy coming down the backside of that thing you see in Missouri. And again, that uh, will mean a day with cloudy periods. I think the sun will be out at times. And again, there could be a little light rain. Maybe I think we need to mention at least some chance of a shower. And we start to warm up a little bit. Uh, the NAM and the GFS are at 65 tomorrow, and we'll certainly be warmer than today. It's 48 now. At least we'll be in the 50s. And if the sun does break out, we, we could reach low and mid-60s. Saturday looks beautiful. Uh, great day. A little cool in the morning. We'll warm up in the low 70s Saturday afternoon. Just gorgeous. Sunday, warming trend continues. Uh, the latest GFS is showing 81 been a little warm lately, obviously. The numbers, quite, quite frankly, been horrible coming off the GFS, but that could be right based on that pattern. And all right, here we go. This is Monday of next week. Very dynamic trough to the west. And down below that, the uh, surface low is around Childress, Texas, uh, under 1,000 millibars. And very unstable air to the east of that. And storms will likely break out Monday night. There's Monday night. That lead surface low moves up to uh, uh, east of St. Louis. And uh, the active convection is still north and west, and clearly this run of the GFS is slower. Uh, we'll go to Tuesday, and look at the trough axis still way to the west. And uh, this is 1 o'clock Tuesday afternoon. And uh, it's got the uh, surf. this surface low is located uh, on the Ohio River. And a big batch of storms just moving in here. So this is suggesting the big event will be Tuesday afternoon or Tuesday evening during the peak of the daytime heating process. And that would be problematic. Um, 
We'll peek at the uh, Energy Helicity Index, uh, and this is valid Tuesday morning at 7. I don't have the EHI past 120 hours, but uh, the max is over Louisiana, but that's early Tuesday morning, and during the day, as the instability increases, that max will be moving northeast up and through here. So if the GFS is right, this latest run, uh, Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday evening, things get really rough around here. However, the European is much faster. Uh, this is 1 o'clock Tuesday afternoon. It's got everything way to the east, and the, Euro the European is suggesting it's going to be a Monday night problem. So it's just too, it's too early. Look, Monday night, Tuesday, somewhere in there, the chance of a significant severe weather outbreak. And look at the 540 line coming down to Birmingham on the European on Tuesday. If this is right, Tuesday would be cold. Um, and again, we'll, we'll see. We'll go back to the uh, GFS. This is Wednesday, and there's a pretty deep trough coming through here now. Uh, and again, it's not a classic where you've got the western ridge pumped up into the Arctic and it's really tapping cold air. But again, that would suggest wraparound clouds and moisture and light rain or drizzle. And then Thursday of next week, everything's out of here. And again, no freeze if this is right. We might get in the upper 30s and maybe a touch of frost early Thursday morning, but we warm up very quickly. All right, let's dig a little deeper. Three days later, here's the 10th of April. Pretty good-looking trough just northwest of the state. Might bring some active weather. And the end of the forecast on the 16th, northwest flow aloft. And if that's right, that would be pretty quiet out there. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you are local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Being Alabama's news leader means digging deeper to get you the facts, working harder so you have all sides of the story and not being afraid to tell the truth. Every day you award us by making ABC 3340 Alabama's most watched news. And now the Associated Press has named us Alabama's most outstanding news operation. That's nine times since 1996, more than all other stations combined. And that's nine more reasons you should trust the news leader. ABC 3340.